All right, let's look at 15. So given that G is defined as the area from negative 1 to X of the F graph, where is G increasing? So we know that G is increasing where G prime, which by the way, using FTC2, we know that G prime is just F of X. So G prime, which is F, uh, should be greater than zero. That's the definition. If something is increasing, its slope is greater than zero. But we wanted to write it in terms of F because we have the graph of F to look at. So let's go see where F is greater than zero. In this highlighted region, greater than zero means above the axis. So from negative one until five. All right, and we're done with 15. Let's move on to 16. 16 says, where is G concave up? So G is concave up where G double prime, whoops, where G double prime of X, which we can see just by taking the derivative of that step, G double prime of X is F prime of X. And concave up means that the second derivative should be greater than zero. So in this case, we need F prime to be greater than zero. If F prime is greater than zero, that means that F of X is increasing. So we just need to look where F is increasing. Well, let me do it in green. F is increasing from here to here and here to here. And then finally, there to there. That's where F is increasing. It's also where F prime is greater than zero, meaning we have a positive slope. Indeed, this is our positive slope everywhere in green. So we'll say from negative seven to three, and then six to 10. And we are done.